A man who's certainly never boring, though. Certainly not in the kitchen. A chef, Mark, and you've got cauliflower <laughs> soup with crispy curry chickpeas to show us this morning. Yeah, that's right. This is one of my favourite soup recipes. I love cauliflower, and it's great in the soup. And the best thing about this recipe is these chickpeas. You get a nice texture from the top, and it's got curry over it. And curry and cauliflower are a fantastic combination together. And it's really, really simple, and it's perfect lunch uh, recipe. So you can make it today for lunch if you want. Thank you very much, Holly. Great to have you with us. We are in the cafe kitchen and we're creating a cauliflower soup. Now, I'm pleased you've added this crispy curry chickpeas this morning, otherwise cauliflower soup, but basic. <laughs> I do like the cauliflower, though. So let's zhuzh it up. Let's get it underway. Let's make the best soup ever today. You ready? Yeah, that's it. And it's a beautiful uh, vegetable, so you can get it pretty much most times of the year. And it True. comes quite cheap and it makes a great soup, you know, and it's really, really simple. All we're going to do, we're going to use the leek. We're mm -hmm. not going to put any onions in there, so you're going to use the white part of the leek. The white part, yeah. okay, So cool. you can use the green part for anything else. You can sweat that down for another uh, meal or whatever you want, you know. So I'm just going to take, take the root out. Yeah, you can make a pie. Leek pie. Oh, leek, leek and potato. Oh, there you go. A bit of chicken in there and some bacon. Um, oh, that would be good. There you go. Okay, you can do I'll, that. Right, I'll so we're just going <laughs> to... <laughs> So, I mean, it's going to be a soup and you're going to puree it up. So, you know, it can just be rough, but just the white part of the leek. Yes. I'm going to put a little bit of oil in here. So yes. just heat the um, pan up and then some butter. OK, cool. So we've got okay. the old Alpha One rice bran oil yeah. in there. And then a nice, a good amount of butter as well. Good. And that's going to obviously make it taste great. And <laughs> it's going to richen up the soup as well, you know. Nice. So just let it sort of melt in like that, pop the leek in, and then we're going to sweat that down. So we're going to use, going to do the same sort of process as the onion, you know, as you sweat the onion down, you'll get some flavour and some sweetness out of the leek as well. OK. And then we've got some garlic as well, so I've just crushed it to peel it, yes. and then just real roughly slice it and chop it and just get it in there, you know. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right, so a couple of garlic cloves, and then you just, you know, it is fast and easy recipe, but Great. you want to sort of keep this over... A, a sort of a, a medium to sort of low heat. Not, don't get it too high. Don't burn that butter or don't get too much colour on the leek, okay. otherwise you're going to change the flavour. You just want to sort of soften it, get the sweetness out, because the soup's all about the cauliflower. OK, so there's your first tip, OK? Yeah, so that probably take about sort hot. of, you know, three, four minutes just over a nice heat. But then that gives you time to prep the cauliflower. Okay? And this is how you prep the cauliflower. Yep, yeah, so you get the whole cauliflower, so you don't want the green leaves, so you just sort of like cut them back, sort of expose that stalk. And then you can get the tip of your knife and you can just go in there and you can take that off. Nice. So that goes. Good looking cauliflower. Yeah, no, it's beautiful cauliflower. Right, and then we just want to cut it into florets. So, as you can see, the stalk's there, and then they're all attached to the stalk. So, I just sort of go around and cut them, cut it around, and you get these big florets there, and then we'll just cook them down. And then the idea is to sort of, you know, get them all roughly the same size. We'll pop it in, and then we'll cook it. And then it'll all soften. And we've got some chicken stock and some cream as well. So, that's the liquid we're going to cook the uh, cauliflower in. One of the great things about cauliflower is it does actually last a good while in your fridge. That's the thing that I love about it. <laughs> yeah. You know, so you can yeah. use half of it <laughs> yeah. if you want and then keep the other half for another meal. Oh, definitely. Yeah, you, you actually can do that. Yeah. It actually works really well. And if you do get a really gold cauliflower, perfect recipe because you can just chuck it all in and blend it and put nice. lots of cream and butter in. There you go. Brilliant. Okay. And cauliflower <laughs> rice is really popular at the moment too as oh, an yeah, alternative yeah. for people. Definitely. Healthy, no carbs. You've done that before, so have a look at the cafe.co.nz and find that recipe. So you can cut it into little florets or, you know, easier still, you know, you can just get your big florets and just sort of slice them out um, across like that. And then, you know, you're getting all pieces like this, little bits are falling off, but, you know, that's going to cook quite fast. You know, little bits of the stalk as well, that's fine in the soup, so yep. that's going to soften and just bulk out the sauce. Right, so your leeks are nice and um, soft. soft and sweated. Yep. So get the cauliflower in, and then we just want to cook that probably for another sort of three, four minutes, just breaking the cauliflower down and starting to soften it, and then we'll add all our liquids in there and actually bring it up to the boil and simmer it, and then we'll blend it. Brilliant work. OK, nice. Well, we've, gone, we've done one part of this recipe, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, yep. season it up, and we'll come back and we'll show you the second part very soon. We need to finish up our cauliflower soup, which does sound pretty bland, doesn't it? But <laughs> it's all about the curry chickpeas and the way Mark brings this together, and it is going to be absolutely superb. So what do we need to do now? Is this broken down enough? Yeah, yeah so it's been about five minutes. The cauliflower is starting to break down, as you can see it. Time to get the stock in now and we're using so a nice chicken stock in here yeah so just pop it up just sort of under the level bring it up to the boil and when we want to cook that but halfway through the cooking process I'm going to add a little bit of cream and it's all going to cook together and then we're going to blend it you know you can okay. and then it's entirely up to you you know you can blend it you can have it nice and thick or you can loosen it a little bit more have it nice and thin whatever you want brilliant okay so what? that is the cauliflower soup now yep. it's on to the so chickpeas that's cooking. yeah chickpeas now so a nice hot pan a bit of oil in there get the oil hot 
and then we've got the chickpeas. So just main, so here's a tip for you, right? Yeah. So take them out of the tin, dry them off, because if you start putting uh, uh, wet chickpeas and loads of liquid into there, it will um, spit everywhere and you'll get lots of uh, flames and probably lose your hair. Okay, okay? good. So how do you um, how do you dry it off? Uh, just a tea towel. Tea towel? Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, nice. So okay. we underutilise chickpeas, I think, in New Zealand. This is a great way to... Oh, definitely. This is it's something different, you know? Yeah. So you've got them there, really easy. They can be in the um, in the cupboard, you know, drain them off, hot pan, bit of oil, you know, and fry them over that high heat. We're going to season them lightly, keep frying them, and then they're going to start drying out and going like nice and crispy on the outside. They'll be nice and sort of fluffy still on the inside. Yeah. And then a bit of this curry as well. So I'm going to sprinkle that over. And as they fry, it's going to uh, flavour them with curry, but it's also going to toast all those seeds and you get this wonderful flavour. You can already smell it now. She's so smell it all right. Like, beautiful, like, so is that just curry powder? powder? Yeah, beautiful. like a madras right. curry powder. Well, okay, nice. And then just keep doing them. You know, if your pan's really hot or you, you think you're going to burn the spices, now you can turn it down because you've got the heat in the pan, you know? It will be sort of, like, near enough crispy. And if you feel them, we're starting to get that sort of crispiness on there. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yep. Okay, so we'll pop a little bit of, uh, little bit of cream in there. So I'll say I'll just put half the cream in now, and we'll save the other half the cream when we blend it. Do you want me to stir? Yeah, give it a stir. Cool. You can pop a lid on as well to get it cooked. You know, it won't take long. Once this comes to the boil and starts boiling, you probably only need to cook it for about another sort of five, ten minutes, and then just stick blender, blend it through. You know, leave it chunky if you want. Loosen it right down. Pass it through a sieve, depending on what sort of texture you want from okay. your um, soup. Okay, brilliant. And then a little bit of flat leaf parsley. Just pick that. So would you do your chickpeas in the last minute or are you going to do them to add in while the soup... Do you put them in after you've pureed the cauliflower? Yeah, I'd probably puree the cauliflower, season it up so you know the soup's all ready to go. Yeah. Then do your chickpeas because these don't take long at all. Okay, great. Chop your parsley and then everything comes together. Serve it. It's hot, it's mm. crispy, it's mm. tasty, it's fantastic. Great lunch option. Yeah, everything's smelling delicious here too. And you can make a big quantity of it too, which is fantastic. Uh, could you freeze this, you reckon? Yeah, no, it'd be great. Yeah. You know, so you can... Obviously, it's really hard to cook for one or two people or do small quantities, but, you know, do a bigger quantity, split it up, put it in little bags, you know, one or two portions, pop it in the freezer and just pull it out, and then it's even easier to do for lunch, you know? Brilliant. Hey, and thank you, everybody, that leaves comments and leaves photos on our Facebook page when you create one of our dishes here at the cafe. And, uh, honestly, we really appreciate it. Keep them coming. If you make anything, let us know, OK? Just go to our cafe Facebook page, give us a like, and keep up to date with all the competitions as well. Thanks, Mark. Smells incredible. <laughs> uh, this has turned out brilliantly. Yeah, Smells that, great. Here it is, and the uh, chickpeas are absolutely fantastic. Nice. It's so good with our coffee. Yeah. Oh, I can't really wait good. to dip into that.